First of all, the main reason of the creation of this channel was to have fun, meaning that this is basically a hobby, although in some occasions a module shown here could be bought. The main focus is to show not so expensive ways of playing in the 300 MHz to 300 GHz range of frequencies, called generically here microwaves. If you are an experimenter, you certainly know that the tools and methods used will depend on the range of frequencies you are experimenting on and also if they are analog or digital circuits. For lower frequencies, many times you just solder wires around in a spider section or use an FR4 printed circuit board for higher frequencies. In the microwave region, though, you just can't do that. Circuits normally must be confined in metallic enclosures. Impedance must be lower, normally 50 or 75 ohms. And the track's dimensions will depend on substrate used. In the case of the FR4 substrate, if used carelessly, will certainly lead you to failure. When I decided to experiment in the microwave region, I started to design and build some basic functional modules for my experiments. And all that started when I decided to extend the frequency range of my 18 GHz spectral analyzer to 30 GHz using a front-end mixer. But soon I realized that they were like a microwave Lego and I could use them for more than one project. And here are some of them. This is my portable frequency counter. This is a low phase noise 100 MHz reference, disciplined by my rubidium time base. These modules here I use it uh, for the front end of my spectral analyzer, here we have the synthesizer, uh, 20 dB amplifier, the mixer, and also this uh, amplifier I connect to the IF port of the mixer. It has a low pass filter, so minimizing the feed through of the local oscillator. This module here is still waiting for its enclosure. The layout of a couple of modules may look weird, but that's because of the disposition of my gear on the workbench. My laptop and microwave generator is on the right, and frequency references and GPS antenna on the left. And that's the nice thing when you build your own stuff. You can do whatever you want. The construction process of these modules can be seen in previous videos. And now in the sequence I will show uh, two experiments using some of them. In this first experiment I programmed a synthesizer to output 10.368 GHz plus 2 Hz, as you can see there, and connected to a 10 GHz horn antenna. The antenna and transition are both homemade units. And here we have the receiving antenna connected to a 20 dB amplifier the one presented to you in video 40. If you have a spectral analyzer, you can use the marker frequency counter function to read the frequency. Let me... And as you can see here, the reading is pretty accurate. Now, if you don't have the spectral analyzer, but have a microwave counter, you can also read the frequency with accuracy as we will see now.
Here we go. 10.3680002. Now, if you don't have the spectral analyzer and neither the microwave counter, you will still be able to measure the frequency with accuracy. Stay tuned to know how. Now, suppose you want to measure the same frequency with higher accuracy, let's say tenth or even hundredth of hertz. Remember that with the use of pre-scalars, normally 32, 64, 128, etc. Some accuracy will be lost, which is not the case when you translate the frequency to be measured to a lower part of the spectrum. And this is the setup. The transmitter is still there. At the receiving horn, we have two 10 dB amplifiers. The output going to the RF port of the 10 to 30 gigahertz mixer. The local oscillator port is fed with plus 15 dBm coming from the 20 dB amplifier we saw in video 40. Let me position the camera. The input is connected to the synthesizer we saw in other videos programmed with 10.328 gigahertz at the IF port of the mixer we have the 10 megahertz to 5 gigahertz 15 dB amplifier having at its output uh, a homemade 8 gigahertz low pass filter and here is a picture of the internal elements. There is an inevitable feed through coming from the local oscillator port to the output of the mixer, and this filter will help to attenuate about uh, 10 dB. Now the frequency can be measured with my small counter showing up to units of hertz. We can even improve the accuracy to 0.1 hertz, changing the gate to 10 seconds. 40.000002 hertz. Remember that the frequency at the transmitter is 10.368 gigahertz, added by 2 Hz. At the local oscillator here we have 10.328 GHz and the difference is 40 MHz added by 2 Hz which is being shown here. If you have a professional counter the accuracy could be 0.01 Hz as we will see now. Now the output was connected to the key side counter. For this demonstration, the counters, the transmitter and local oscillator were locked to the same external time base. 10 MHz for the counters and 100 MHz for the synthesizers. That's all I had. Thanks for watching.